Chinese. Just last year, Chinese owners controlled nearly 200,000 acres in the U.S. of ag land worth $1.9 billion. They also, of course, have bought a number of agribusinesses, including the world's biggest pork producer. They're doing this around the world, buying up agricultural properties. So why is this allowed? What does it mean for our future? And why is nobody worried about this? Martha Fain is worried about it. She's a farmer in Virginia. She owns Liberty Farm, and we're happy to have her on tonight. Martha Fain, thanks so much for coming on tonight. Um, so this is not something we're imagining. Chinese companies are buying up American agricultural land? That's correct. You know, China is home to 21% of the world's population. Right. Yet only 7% of China is in production agriculture. So what we're witnessing is China being on a massive uh, a hoarding spree, buying up millions of acres of farmland to the tune of 16 million acres around the globe. And in doing so, is wanting to dominate the global food supply. This presents a national food security for American farmers and for every American citizen. And it also impacts the, secure, the very security of, of our food to our Americans, but it also creates an unfair playing field for American farmers. I mean, how can an individual American farmer compete with Beijing's limitless pocketbooks? And as you mentioned, so there was the acquisition of Smithfield, which is the largest producer of pork yeah. out of Virginia. They also acquired 150,000 acres of farmland here in the United States. This is a serious concern for every American farmer and really for, for every American, which by the way, no state in the United States has any prohibition against the foreign acquisition of agricultural farmland. But yet China forbids any foreign entity from owning China land. Well, I was just about to make that point. And it's not just China. Lots of countries look rationally at the world and say, okay, I've got to control the supply of food and water, and if I can, medicine. And yet, all of a sudden, this is happening and nobody's stopping it. Why doesn't the Congress pass a law tomorrow saying, I'm sorry, you can't, foreign entities from anywhere can't own American farmland? Why is that complicated? It's not, and it's actually a bipartisan issue. There has been legislation introduced that specifically addresses prohibiting China from acquiring uh, more American farmland. And it's my hope, as it is for all farmers in America that it passes. If, if um, Look, American farmers are the greatest producers in the world. They're, American farmers are the heartbeat of America. And if American farmers are going to continue to be competitive, American farmers need to own and control our food supply, which includes the production and the distribution, as well as owning our American farmland. I mean, we've sold off so much, all of our manufacturers, basically just like stripping the country for parts and selling it to China. But you can't sell the country itself. I mean, farmland is the land. That's America. That's that's our continent. You're absolutely correct. And we need to shine a huge spotlight on it. President Trump was the first president to shine a huge spotlight on China's theft of our intellectual property. And for example, in the acquisition of Smithfield Foods, you know, the Chinese acquired all of the intellectual property behind the world's largest producer producers of pork in the world. Yeah. And so this is this is a huge threat to our country. I'm hopeful that the legislation will pass that will prevent China from acquiring more American land. Well, I hope so. I mean, it's one thing to you know lose your intellectual property when you lose your property, like real property. You're screwed. That's right. You're enslaved. And we all know that freedom stands on the shoulders of property rights, and we need to protect Amen. American farmers and our farmland. Martha Fain, great to see you tonight. Thanks.